Look, I stand before you as a conservative member of the Republican Study Committee, former chairman of the Republican Study Committee, in strong opposition to this proposal. Across the board cuts are a lazy member's way to achieve something. I thank the gentleman for yielding and rise in opposition to this amendment, and I do so as a proud RSC member and somebody who fought hard to get us to $100 billion in this cut, who has pledged to work for more cuts in FY12. I support the Goodlatte Balanced Budget Amendment and the spending cap. But I've got to say to my conservative friends, when you cut across the board, who do you think is going to be in charge of where these cuts come from? I implore my colleagues to help defeat this very, very well-intended uh, but uh, misguided amendment. We need to maintain the reliability of our nuclear stockpile. That's under the Department of Energy. There's nothing more important than nuclear stockpile. Protecting that stockpile, making sure it's reliable, uh, and that we meet the requirements of cleanups across the nation. Across the board cuts would impact that in a big way, and I yield back. This really will result in the layoffs of several hundred FBI agents uh, at the FBI. I was met with Director Mueller on Friday. Can you see the message when Osama bin Laden in a cave in Pakistan hears that the FBI has had a layoff of FBI agents? Some of the amendments have just gone too far. This one, I think, goes too far, and as some have said, across the board cuts don't give us the opportunity to decide what our priorities are. The gentleman claims his amendment exempts national security, but it does not exempt the national security provisions in the state foreign operations title. Uh, I'm just very concerned that this is not really a thoughtful way of doing it, that uh, if we're after waste, fraud, and abuse in our, in our budget, this is going to cripple us as far as finding out where those places are.